Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make my green pozole. If you guys have been here for a minute, I posted this recipe on my TikTok. I think it was like one of the first videos I filmed on TikTok. So I'm posting it here on YouTube because it's a hassle to like scroll down my TikTok and find it. Today is Sunday and this weekend has been very eventful. I feel like this upcoming week is gonna be very eventful as well because this upcoming week is the week of Christmas. Friday, we had Baby G's birthday party. Yesterday, we had our friends with us. And then today, we're kind of recovering, thankfully. Me and Danny, we had a couple of water boys in between our drinks yesterday. So at first, when I opened my eyes, my head was pounding, but then I kind of just started moving through the day. We ate some barbacoa tacos and I had my coffee and honestly now I'm feeling great. I'm not hungover, but it is five o'clock already. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my green pozole. I feel like this dish is really good for Christmas. So that's why I decided to also film this video for you guys because my family actually wants me to make this for Christmas Eve for the family because they love this recipe so much. So, maybe y'all could recreate this and make this for your family's get together for Christmas Eve or for Christmas or just for a Sunday when you're hungover. I love this recipe because it's so easy and me personally, I like pozole better than menudo just because I don't like the fat part of the menudo, like the squishy part. I have a thing with foods that are squishy. I just can't do it. So for me, I love this recipe because I use chicken. That's the meat in it. Yeah, let's get started. The main thing of this recipe is the sauce. And the sauce, you do it with, obviously with chiles, but you can pretty much use any chiles that you like. I like to make mine a little bit more on the spicier side. So I like to do more jalapenos and more serranos. But if you're someone that doesn't really like spicy, you could probably add like one or two jalapenos, one or two serranos, up the tomatillos, cause tomatillo I feel like kinda takes away like the spiciness. And then maybe use like Anaheim peppers, which are these. I bought them, but I don't think I'm gonna use them. I think I'm gonna go more on like the spicier side. Keep in mind that me and Danny like spicier foods. So I'm using a lot of jalapenos, a lot of serranos. But if you are someone that doesn't like spicy, literally just use one or two jalapenos and serranos. And then you can use poblanos and Anaheim peppers. Yeah, if you guys have any questions about the recipe, comment down below and I will get back to you guys. So like I said, we're gonna be doing it a little bit spicier today. So I have some jalapenos, I have serranos, I have tomatillos, poblano peppers, and then an onion, and of course, the chicken. And then for some toppings slash like extras, I got tostadas, avocados, the bread, cabbage, and cilantro. But the main thing, like I said, is the sauce, and the sauce is gonna be made from the jalapenos, the serranos, the tomatillos, and the poblano. Also, I am not using this many um, peppers, I just brought them out just to make it look cute. But yeah, so this is everything literally super, super easy. And then for the spices, I always say that like, you can literally use whatever spices you like. You know what you like. But for me, this one is a must for sure. The caldo de pollo, salt, red chili flakes, and oregano. Those are the main ones. If you guys wanna add extra, go off. If you guys end up recreating this recipe, please tag me in it. I wanna know if you guys liked it. I wanna know if your family liked it. First step is boil your chicken. So I turn on the pan, I'm about to put the chicken in there and I like to put half of an onion in the water with the chicken just to give it like that extra flavor. So I cut up half of an onion and I have my pack of chicken. Also, I, I don't really give you guys uh, proportions because I really don't do proportions like for the seasonings or 
like the jalapenos, I just kind of go with the flow, you know? So keep that in mind. Also keep the chicken in mind. I'm only making enough for me and Danny, but obviously if you have, like if you're cooking for like six people or 10 people or whatever, you know, use more of everything. But keep that in mind. I'm, I'm only making it for me and Danny. So it is gonna be smaller quantities, probably than you guys would make. But yeah, so I got my half an onion. And then you're gonna go ahead and cook the chicken until it's ready. I say like 30, maybe 40 minutes. But we'll keep checking on it. Okay, I went ahead and I chopped off all the tails of the chile. Now, I'm gonna boil the chile. But, just so you guys know, for the sauce, you can either boil the chiles or you can roast them. For me, the only reason why I'm boiling them is just because I just got new nails and I feel like it's annoying to peel the skin with nails. But if I didn't have nails, I would roast them. But yeah, it's up to you and honestly, like, I like the boiling method because you just literally boil the peppers and then take them out once they're done, you know? Five tomatillos, the other half of the onion, five jalapenos, five serranos, and two poblanos. So, I'm gonna let that boil. Make sure you're checking on them. Um, because I feel like the tomatillos and the serranos cook faster and you don't want to overcook them because then they get really soggy so you, you got to keep an eye out for them and then the chicken is just boiling so we're gonna wait for that okay so I'm gonna take out the tomatillos see how they're kind of like squishy Okay, now I put half a cup of the chicken water in here to give it some flavor. Cause, remember, the sauce is everything. And then like I said, I'm gonna be using oregano, caldo de pollo, salt, and the red chili flakes is to top it with, but I'm not gonna put it in there. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of cilantro in there. Also put this onion in there, because I like a lot of onion. Oh, I forgot, I'm gonna add a little bit of cumin. Cumin? Yeah. <laughs> it's cumin. Now we're gonna start making the hominy. So I'm gonna be using chicken broth. I'm gonna be using two of these little boxes of chicken broth. You can also use water, like one cup of chicken broth, one of broth water. But I just like chicken broth because I feel like it gives it a little bit more flavor. And the hominy literally takes like 20 minutes. Like, it's not like menudo where you have to cook it for like hours and hours. This is also why I'm telling you guys, like this recipe is so fast. Like, is the hominy. I'm gonna drain these. I'm 
I wanted you to try it. It's kind of spicy, no? Now I'm gonna pour the green sauce in here and the chicken's still cooking, so I'm gonna just put it in here just so that it can get the flavor of the green sauce. I'm also gonna shred the chicken right now once it's done, but now we're adding the green sauce. I love it. Yeah. Yummy. I also saved this cup of the chicken water. So I'm gonna add that to there. And I'm gonna add more water to it. Just cause we want it to be like very juicy, you know? And then now you're just, at this point, you're just gonna cook the hominy until it's like a little bit soft cause they're a little bit hard. And I'm just gonna cook the chicken in here for a couple more minutes cause it's almost done. And then I went ahead and I cut up some cilantro and some cabbage and the chicken. Since I really like shredded the chicken, I feel like it's gonna get lost in the pozole. So I'm just gonna top the pozole with the chicken, if that makes sense. Let me just show you guys. Added some lime, I was about to forget the lime. Some chili flakes. Some oregano. And then I have, I have some tostadas. I like lime, so I really like these, but Danny doesn't like them because he doesn't really like sour stuff. And then I also got some bread and I toasted it with butter. Yum. It's actually spicy. I tasted like the, the sauce and it was spicy for me. For Danny, it wasn't spicy. What? What is it? Good morning guys, it's the next day and I got quite a mess to clean up. Yesterday was the first day that we slept in our room again because for the past two weeks we've been sleeping in the dog's room. Millie's like a really good mom and I feel like the dogs, they're starting to open their eyes. We checked last night and around I think 
three of them, three out of the nine of them were like starting to open their eyes. So I feel like Millie is able to like watch them better now. But yeah, so it was the first night we slept in our room and we popped a melatonin and girl, look at my eyes. <laughs> it's already 9.45 and I'm like, I have my eyes. <sighs> but yeah, it's December 20th now. So I'm gonna clean up the house and then I'm gonna go to the mall. Wish me luck, cause I'm about to go to the mall for some last minute presents and I already know I'm gonna be like, Okay, bedroom is clean. This guy, man. Living room and kitchen is clean. Sir, what did I tell you about sitting on the couches like that? And I just washed my face and brushed my teeth and now I'm about to head to the mall. It's 10.30, so I feel like it's gonna be busy. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Let me know if you guys try it. Tag me on Instagram if you guys recreate it. And other than that, I'll see you guys on next week's video. Bye guys.